If you've been wondering why some of your clients' Google reviews never made it to your business profile, don't worry, you're not alone. It happened to me too. Last year, Google updated its algorithm to combat spam and crack down on fake Google reviews. Seemed like a good idea at the time, but here is the thing. Because the review filter is automated, some of the real reviews from genuine customers get caught up in the mix. It's been very frustrating for most of you because we all know how important Google reviews are. It's been almost impossible to retrieve those missing reviews until now. Google has finally come to its senses and created a form to help you claim back those precious reviews and I'm going to show you how to use it. Before I jump on the computer, I want to give a quick shout out to Mike Blumenthal, who broke down the process in one of his recent articles on nearmedia.com, which you can access by clicking on the link in the description below. Enough said, let's get started. Head over to support.google.com slash business. Scroll down the page. If you see a sign in button, click on it and sign in the Google account associated with the business profile from which the Google reviews are missing. Scroll down the page once more. You should now see two buttons, one called Post to the Help Community and the other called Contact Us. You may already have been logged into a Google account, in which case those two buttons would already show. If this is the case, make sure the account you're logged in is the one associated with your Google business profile. Then click on Contact Us. Click on the first drop down menu. Your business should be listed there. Just select it. In the Tell us what we can help with field, type Missing Reviews, then click on Next. From the description of the issue list, select the Review Missing option, then click on Next Step. This should take you to a page with suggested article you can read to help you understand why your reviews are missing or delayed. Just ignore them and click on Next Step once more. This next step will show you the contact option available related to your query, which in this case will be email. Just click on it. You should see a warning message asking you to double check that the account you signed in is the one associated with the listing you are reporting an issue for. Make sure it is. If not, you can switch to the correct one. Fill in the form starting with your name, then add your phone number. From the next drop down, select what your relationship is to the business. I guess most of you will choose I own this business. In the next field, add your business name as it appears on your listing on Google Search and Google Maps and on the next one, the address where the business is located. You'll then be asked to provide your business profile ID. Although this is not a compulsory field, I recommend you add it to the form. This will ensure that Google is looking at the right listing. If you don't know where to get your business profile ID, follow these steps. Head over to Google and make sure you're logged in with the account associated with your listing. In the Google search box, type My Business. Your business profile should appear in search results. Click on the View Profile button. From the In Search Management interface, click on the three dots right here and from the drop down, select Business Profile Settings. From the pop-up window, click on Advanced Settings. In the next pop-up, you'll find your business profile ID. Just click on the Copy ID button, then go back to the form and add it to the business profile ID field. Specify if the profile has recently been suspended or disabled. Just so you know, if your listing got disabled and then reinstated, you'll need to act fast. You've only got a few weeks to ask for your reviews back or they'll be gone for good. If your profile doesn't belong to a primary or secondary school, answer no to the next question. If it does and you live either in the US or the UK, you're not eligible to generate reviews, so there is no need for you to continue with this process. From the next drop down, give an estimate about the number of reviews that are missing. Specify if new reviews are coming through or not and the time frame in which the reviews have gone missing. If you can, add the reviewer's names. Finally, provide a quick description of the issue you are facing. Then submit your form. Once you've submitted your form, you should receive a confirmation email about your request which includes a case ID number. Keep it tucked away as it might be useful later. I have yet to try this in real life, but according to Mike, it would seem that Google will look at your case within 7 to 10 days. 
If after 10 days, your issue is still not resolved, this is what you need to do. Head over to support.google.com slash business once more. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and this time click on the post to the help community button. Scroll down to locate the post a question link. Click on the link. This will take you to a form you're going to need to fill in. Add a subject such as missing reviews and give a brief description of what you've done so far. You'll also need to add the following elements in your description. The case ID number you received from Google when you submitted your form. Your exact business name as it appears on your listing. Your business Google Maps URL. If you don't know how to get the URL of your Google business listing profile on Google Maps, here is how. Head over to google.com slash maps. Type in the name and address of your business. This should display your Google business profile panel. Your Google Maps URL is right here. Just click on it once to select it all. Copy and paste it in the description. You will also need to include a screenshot of the reviews that have not been published or removed so the reviewers' usernames can be verified. This is because in most cases your clients' names and their Google username will be different. There are two ways you can do this. In some cases, you might have received an email notification from Google informing you that someone has left a review on your profile, only for the review to be filtered out later. In such cases, capture a screenshot of the email and include it in your request. If you haven't received any email notification from Google, but you are certain that customers have left reviews on your profile, you will need to request your clients to send you screenshots of the reviews they posted. To do this, ask your clients to do the following. Go to the Google Maps app on their phone. From the navigation menu at the bottom of the screen, they'll see a plus icon called Contribute, which they'll need to click on. This will bring up their account overview. From there, they'll need to tap on the View Profile link. When scrolling down, they'll be able to see all the reviews they have submitted from their account and locate the one they posted on your listing. It will only be visible to them. Ask them to screenshot it, making sure their username is included in it and to send you a copy. Attach the screenshots to your description. Once you've completed your description, select Engage with Customers from the Category drop-down. Then click on Next. Choose the Review Missing option, then click on Next Step. Ignore the various references to resources, then click on Next Step. In the Add More Details, select a platform. Just go for Web. Then click on Next Step. Make sure the Get Emails When Someone Responds box is ticked, then click on Post. Once you've submitted your request, hopefully one of the Google product experts will be able to escalate your case and get it resolved once and for all as quickly as possible. Be kind to them, they don't work for Google and are only volunteers. I know this is not ideal and seems like a very long-winded process, but it's definitely a step in the right direction if you want to retrieve the reviews you worked hard to get. Please let me know in the comments below how many reviews you've managed to retrieve following this process as it will be helpful for everyone to know. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy marketing.